So guys, a lot of you have asked me about how should I start my career in BIM? How can I pivot my career focus from architecture into BIM industry? So I have answered these kind of questions a lot in comment section, but I thought like I can make a small video about it and tell you how you can change your career into BIM. So without any delays, let's get started with the video. So guys, the first thing that you have to understand that BIM is not just one software, but we have to understand that if your country is biased on using Autodesk product, then BIM starts with one of these softwares, that is Revit. You need to learn Revit, how to use Revit, how to make families, how to make projects, how to make a project from start, from the site and inception level, to the end by making sheets and submission drawing into Revit. So that will be the overall Revit package that you have to learn for this. Second thing that you have to learn is how to do cloud collaboration. For example, Autodesk has Autodesk Construction Cloud where you post your project, like where you share your project and everyone around the world, whomever you want to give access to can work on that project simultaneously along with each other by using work sets and all of these things. I have made proper videos about uh, BIM and this is the playlist that you can go ahead and have a look at. So I have made a lot of videos about this. So this is something that you need to learn how to do, uh, how to make a central file, how to work in a work shared environment and then of course, Autodesk Construction Cloud, what all things can be done on that, how to manage Autodesk Construction Cloud. This is one of the factors that you need to learn. And even if you are going for any course, just see that if they are teaching these things or not. Next is you need to know what are the international standards for BIM. For example, which companies are using BIM, how BIM is used in these companies, how BIM is benefiting these companies and then what are the international norms for BIM. For example, ISO 19650 is an international norm that has been created and that has been adopted by a lot of countries around the world and they make small changes to it but these are the norms that they adopt to make a central norm for their own country. So these are the factors that you need to learn to get into BIM industry and of course no one will come to you and say that oh okay come to me and uh, be a BIM coordinator or a BIM engineer or a BIM modeler it won't work like that you have to search for a company that works on Revit that does some work or like produces their entire work or a project on Revit go to those kind of firms see if they are using BIM and at what level they are using BIM. Try to convince them to hire you for the skills that you have developed. And that's how your BIM journey will start from there. Next option is to look for the firms that are doing outsourcing work for all these first world countries. There are firms that are based in Canada or in US, but they outsource their work back in India. A lot of architects are doing these things. They are into firms like Acom and there are other few firms that I will mention in the description that do overseas work. They take and hire uh, architects and BIM engineers for a cheaper rate of course in India and they outsource work for all of these first world countries. You, If you get into these companies then your BIM journey will absolutely start and absolutely skyrocket from there. Because having these international companies name on your uh, resume will also help you to try to seek jobs abroad. Well, a lot of countries are not hiring directly, but still you can apply. And if by any case, our employer gets ready to hire you, you can definitely apply for a work visa and fly abroad as well. So this is the overall journey to get into BIM. And if you have any kinds of doubts or queries, please go ahead, mention your thoughts or mention your queries into the description 
and don't forget to check out this bim explained playlist because i think you your lot of questions will be solved by this playlist and if they don't solve any question please mention your thoughts queries in the comment section it motivates me in the sense that you are eager to learn more about bim and i am also planning to make a series for bim and to teach how we use bim over here professionally so yeah keep supporting this channel don't forget to like and subscribe and take care of yourself see you soon bye bye